Hello guys, I'm right here. So Cape Verde is a country in West Africa, but I'll explain this country. Cabo Verde, uh, Cape Verde, officially the Republic of Cabo Verde, is an archipelago and island country in the Central Atlantic Ocean, consisting of 10 volcanic islands with a combined land area of about 4,000 square kilometers. These islands lie between 6,000 kilometers, 600 kilometers west of Cape Verde, situated at the westernmost point of continental Africa. The Cape Verde Islands form part of the Macaronesia ecoregion, along with the Azores, the Canary Islands, Madeira, and the Savage Isles. The islands are di spatially divided into two groups, the Barlavento Islands, Windward Islands, Santo Antao, San Vicente, Santa Lucia, San Nicolau, San Bo um, Boavista, and the Sotavento Islands, Leeward, Mayo, Santiago, Fogo, and Vrava. The largest island, both in size and population, is Santiago, which hosts the nation's capital, Praia. The principal urban agglomeration in the archipelago, the nation is, is divided into 22 conseillos, or municipalities. Three of the Cape Verde Islands, Sal, Boa Vista, and Mayo, are fairly flat, sandy, and dry. The others are generally rockier, with more vegetation. Geologically, the islands are principally composed of igneous rocks, with volcanic structures and pyroclastic debris comprising the majority of the archipelago's total volume. Pico do Fogo is the largest active volcano in the region, erupted in 2014. It has an 8km diameter caldera, whose rim is 1,600 meters in altitude and an interior cone that rises uh, to 2,800 meters above sea level. And, it's, and it is the tallest point in Cape Verde. Extensive salt flats are found on Sal and Mayo, on Santiago, Santo Antao, and Sal Nicolau. Arid slopes give way in place to sugarcane fields or banana plantations spread along the base of towering mountains. Cape Verde's climate is milder than that of the African mainland because the surrounding sea moderates temperatures. Uh, on the islands and cold at Atlantic currents pr produce an arid atmosphere around the archipelago. Conversely, the islands do not receive the upwelling cold streams that affect the West African coast, so the air temperature is cooler than in nearby Senegal, but the sea is warmer. Western hemisphere bound hurricanes often have their early beginnings near the Cape Verde Islands. These are referred to as ga Cape Verde type hurricanes. These hurricanes can become very intense as they cross warm Atlantic waters away from Cape Verde. The average hurricane season has about two Cape Verde type hurricanes, which are usually the largest and most intense storms of the season because they often have plenty of warm ocean over which to develop before encountering land. As of 2015, the islands themselves have only been struck by hurricanes twice in the recorded history, one in 1892 and again in 2015 by Hurricane Fred the easternmost hurricane ever to form in the Atlantic. Cape Verde isolation has resulted in the islands having a number of endemic species, particularly birds and reptiles, many of which are endangered by human development. The Cape Verde diet is mostly based on fish and staple foods like corn and rice. A popular dish served in Cape Verde is cachupa, a slow-cooked stew of corn, hominy, beans, and fish or meat. A common appetizer is the pastel, a pastry shell, uh, uh, filled with fish or meat, which is then fried. The official census recorded that Cape Verde has had a population of 500,000 in 2013. A large proportion of Cape Verdeans live on the main island Santiago. The Cape Verde archipelago was uninhabited when the Portuguese discovered it in, in, in 1456. The modern population of Cape Verde descends from the mixture of European settlers and African slaves who were brought to the islands to work on Portuguese plantations. Most Cape Verdeans are therefore mestizos, to use the Portuguese term. A genetic study revealed that the ancestry of the population in Cape Verde is predominantly European in the male line and West African in the female line, counted together by the percentage is 56% African and 44% European. Cape Verde's official language is Portuguese. It is the language of instruction and government. It is also used in newspapers, television, and radio. Cape Verdean Creole, Criolo, is a dialect 
continuum of a Portuguese space creole used colloquially throughout Cape Verde and is the mother tongue of virtually all Cape Verdeans. Around 90% of the pop 95% of the population are Christian. More than 85% of the population were nominally Roman Catholic in 2007. For a minority of the population, Catholicism is syncretized with, with African influences. Today, more Cape Verdeans live abroad, nearly a million, than in Cape Verde itself, with significant em emigrant Cape Verdean communities in the United States of Cape Verdean descent, with a major concentration on the New England coast. The culture Cape Verde is characterized by a mixture of European and African settlements. It is not a sum of two cultures living side by side, but a new culture resulting from an exchange that began in the 15th century. The country's most successful sports team is the Cape Verde National Basketball Team, which won the bronze medal at the FIBA Africa Championship 2007 after beating Egypt in its last game. The country's most well-known player is Walter Tavares, who, who plays for Real Madrid of Spain. Cape Verde is actively interested in foreign affairs, especially in Africa. It has bilateral relations with some Lusophone nations, or nations that speak Portuguese, and holds membership in a number of international organizations. It also, it also participates in most international conferences on economic and political issues. The Republic of Guinea-Bissau is about 900 kilometers southeast of Cape Verde in coastal West Africa. Both were colonies of the Portuguese Empire and they campaigned together for independence with a plan for unification, but the country separated after 1980. Cape Verde is a member of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, in African Regional Bloc, which aims for internal integration similar to that of the EU even though it does not yet participate in all of ECOWAS activities. Cape Verde cannot have membership in both organizations at the same time. In January 2007, Manuel Inocencio Sousa, Prime Minister of Infrastructure, uh, Transport and Sea, and Knowledge of People's Republic of China's importance of Cape Verde, stating, China has been a friend of Cape Verde even before it gained independence from Portugal 30 years ago. Bilateral relations have been very good. In 2002, for example, a trade battle between our two countries reached $1.8 million in Chinese export of light industry products and miscellaneous goods. So Cape Verde is an interesting country in Africa. That's the end of the video. Also, subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss any videos. Also, share this video to your friends so you can see it and they'll subscribe to me.